Hi there. I'm here to share some ideas and hopefully get some ideas back from you as well on using the iPad Pro to work on documents in Google Classroom. So here's an essay, for example, that I might get from a student. A really nice feature of the iPad Pro is this little pencil up here. Um, this opens a PDF that you can annotate with lots of different features uh, for uh, color and size of text and everything. But that's pretty self-explanatory if you have a, a pencil and you want to do some writing on this document. What's not, and what's there's another feature that I really like, is the idea of using this text box. Um, so this text box, we could open it up and tap next to the title here. And um, one more lazy step, which is nice, uh, is to click on the microphone down here. It's pretty good. And I'll give it a try. I really like this title. However, it could be linked better to the content of the essay, period. How's that for a comment? Um, so let's see that that actually it could be late better to the content. Eh, a little bit of editing could be done, but you get the point. All right. Now there's my comment. I could pull a highlighter off on that so someone might notice it and move on down the essay. One other feature that's really nice is, this is a shortcut I like as well, is if I click uh, on my Google Docs, or you might type in another um, word processing tool, I've created a comment bank for myself, and lots of different comments here that I can cut and paste in, or I can read literally using that microphone again as I get to parts of the essay that I wanna grade. And that saved me a bit of time, and I hope it saves you some time. Um, love to hear your feedback on ways that you cut down on, on the tedious process of grading and focus on the positive side and really giving accurate feedback efficiently. All right? Hope that helps somebody.